Alan Shaw and uh, so Marshall Acuff and uh, all, yeah, that's uh, Smith Barney. Who else? There are some other guys there. Uh, anyway, uh, Alan Shaw was one of the first uh, technicians. My dad, do you remember him? You probably I do. Heard? Yeah. I remember and Newton. Luigi Mata, of course, kind of yeah, mentored well, Newton, by Alan. Newton was before Marky. even, remember Newton Zinder was, was, uh, was awesome too. Anyway, um, Michael, you're not, you're no, as I say, you're no slouch. Um, you, you're bullish too, from here, even from here. Exactly. There's just no sign of recession. There's no sign of excess valuation. There's nothing that's going to push the markets down right now. Um, and in fact, you, you know, as somebody else said earlier, there are a lot of very good tailwinds that are still affecting the market. The breadth on the market has been widening, not narrowing. Um, so that also suggests that we're not quite at the end. The Fed has been very favorable. Um, and in fact, it looks like they're beginning to think about the end of a rate cycle, which I think could be bullish, especially if paired with some steepening activities, such as uh, accelerating the roll-off of, of the long end. So all in all, we're still pretty bullish. When was the last, uh, Sal, when was the last, uh, the, the last secular bull end, and, and what precipitated it, and how long was the, in your view, because you got some interesting, uh, the way you look at it is interesting, but when was the last one, and how long did the secular bear last? Was that in the, uh, must have been a while ago, uh, because 80, I mean, the, this well, secular bull started in 81, didn't it, or around there, or? No. When did I, it start? I think 2000 this started. Was 2000, after think the 666 on the uh, on the S and P, that how did that happen? 666. But is that is, was that it? Most of the stocks bottomed in October of 2008. 92.6 okay. percent of the stocks traded on October 10th of 08 bottomed. Uh, most people think it began in March of 2009. Fair enough, if you want to use that. But nobody measures the 82 to 2000 secular bull market from the nominal price low in December 74. <laughs> they measure it from when the indices broke out above the previous highs. Everybody wants to measure this one from the nominal price low in March of 09. Maybe we should be measuring it from April of 2013 when the averages finally bettered their old high. Jeff, let me just ask you though, if you think there's six or seven years potentially left in this phase of this, or this bull market, are we gonna go six or seven years without a recession? I mean, we're talking about 16 you know, years potentially uh, of an expansion. That would be unprecedented. And when you, whenever you're starting in, uh, putting new money in there when unemployment's already 4%, your forward returns over multiple years hasn't necessarily been that great. So are we just in a, in a new era? That, that's, that's fair enough. I have argued that the downturn was so severe and the recovery up until recently was so muted that what you've done is elongate the mid-cycle. So is it different this time, which you're not supposed to ask? Yeah, I think it is different this time. You've also had a tectronic shift from tangible assets on corporate balance sheets to intangible assets, which you can't really put on the balance sheets. And intangible assets, by definition, require higher valuation metrics than the historic norm. So, Michael, you say slightly overweight stocks versus bonds. That, that sounds a little bit, uh, you know, sort of wishy-washy. I mean, really, that's all just a little bit uh, with... with in well, you know, I, I got to say, I don't think that stocks are ridiculously cheap. They're at 16 times earnings, which late cycle, um, and I disagree with Jeff, Jeff, I think that at some point we are going to have a recession in the, in the next several years, but it's not imminent right now. Uh, but at some point, we're, we're going to uh, go over the top. And... Um, we're a little bit closer to that now. Um, I think bonds are, are undeniably expensive. Um, you know, we're not going to see a return to the ultra low rates that we saw a year and a half ago. So uh, I think bond prices, especially if the Fed steepens, are likely to go down. Um, and in that environment, um, maybe stocks have some room to move. Um, you know, I, I think we can get um, another few percent this year and probably a little bit of gain next year. But I'm not going to go out on a limb and say we've got seven years of great gains coming in front of us. I, I just don't see that. We'll have a bear market sooner or later. And for right now, um, I, I don't think we're whistling past the graveyard. It's not happening anytime soon. But I'm a little more cautious, I'd say, than, than Jeff is. Michael, in the short term, I mean, we've pushed to these uh, record highs again uh, on the back of a very strong August, which has been on fairly low volume. Do we get a, a bit of a short-term wake-up call as we push into September? Well, September historically is the worst calendar month for, for stocks. Um, and I suppose there's some risk that uh, what the Fed says at their next rate meeting um, is going to have some impact. But by and large, I don't think so. I think we're going to continue inching ahead. Volatility is back down. 
Corporate news is all very positive. Um, you know, one of the things that, that's gone unremarked is the second quarter earnings actually exceeded estimates and exceeded the first quarter. So we're all talking about have we hit peak earnings yet? And the answer is no. Earnings growth is still doing very well. So I don't really see that fundamentally, you know, aside from short-term blips, I don't see that we're going to have any kind of meaningful downturn, September notwithstanding. Uh, I think the, the, the outlook for the rest of the year looks pretty good. Okay, gentlemen, Michael uh, and Jeff, um, thanks. We will, uh, I, I wonder about geopolitics. I wonder about actually just politics. I wonder about November, but all you guys ever want to talk about is the Fed. It's, it's like all this other stuff happens in a vacuum, but uh, we are going to have some interesting things on the, on the horizon coming up, and nobody knows how, how that's going to work out. Anyway, gentlemen, uh, we'll try to figure that out. Uh, thanks. Mike, you're leaving. I'm out of here. Thanks for yep. being here. See these guys later, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You will. We're all hanging out. You want to come with us? Closing bell. That's today for you? For all of it's us. It's a long day. Come with a us. How long are you going home for? Uh, for an hour. You know, I might stop by. I might Done. Really? We're going to hold him to that. I'm, a I guest said might. appearance? Might I just, you know, it's a quick stop. chat on the markets. Might One minute by. guest and then right. send him back again. There right. you go. Monkeys <laughs> might fly out of my uh, <laughs> nose, too. But, uh, um, Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> I said nose. <laughs> ah. uh-huh. All right, when we come back, talk about a big reopening, FAO Schwartz.